sa skin. Okay, you, you would normally found this in the skin. That is why there is abnormal pigmentation ng skin dito. So let's take a look at your Chedak Higashi. So this is the appearance class of your Chedak Higashi. Nakikita niyo yung picture class. Ayan. So this is your Chedak Higashi class. The lysosomes are, in, are in able to kill the organism properly. Then they have increased susceptibility to staph or use infections. Ayan. Then another one class would be your congenital C3 deficiency. Now, there are two types class in your congenital C3 deficiency. Merong heterozygous carriers that have approximately one half of the normal C3 activity. While your homozygous carriers class fails to opsonize bacteria resulting in repeated infection. Class, what is the purpose of your C3? Naalala nyo pa? Para saan yung C3 nyo? Sa immunology serology class nyo? Tinuro ba sa inyo ito ni, ano, Sir Riz? Para sa membrane attack system. Anong ginagawa ng membrane attack system, Ms. Banadera? What does it do? Complement, yes. Okay. What does the complement do, class? Anong ginagawa ng complement? Para mas maintindihan nyo, class, this is the graph. Wait lang. Nakikita nyo yung pathway. So, in your complement class, there are two types of pathway. Diba? Yung classical and your alternative pathway. Now, yung classical nyo, class, would usually involve antibodies. While your alternative pathway would be direct simulation. No antibody production. Ang C3 nyo class will form the so-called attacking complex. Yung attacking complex na yan class would be responsible for your opsin, opsinization. And when there is opsinization class, there is enhanced killing. Mas madaling mapapatay yung organism. Now, kapag nagkaroon kayo ng C3 deficiency class, there is opsonization dysfunction, deficient WBC chemotaxis, decrease bacterial killing, and decrease immune complex clearance. And there is a possibility of developing collagen vascular disorders. So do take note of that. Then another type would be your chronic granulomatous disease or your CGD. Now, capable of phagocytosis and degranulation but incapable of subsequent bacterial killing process. So, pali dito class, your WBC would phagocyte the bacteria. Kakainin niya. It would phagocyte the bacteria but... But the problem is the bacteria is not destroyed. Hindi nasisira yung bacteria class. Imagine this would be your WBC. Yan yung WBC nyo. Now, they would phagotize, phagocytize a certain bacteria. Now, in your chronic granulomatous disease class, the lysosomes have lost their bactericidal properties due to decreased production of hydrogen peroxide, due to the absence of NAD, pH, oxidase. So basically, class, pag kinain niya, once na napagosatize yung bacteria, the WBC won't be able to destroy the, the, the bacteria inside. The reason for that, class, is because yung lysosomes, which is responsible for digestion or for destroying the bacteria, 
have lost their bactericidal effects due to decreased production of your H2O2. And this can be due to the absence of NADPH oxidase. So in chronic granulomatous disease class, there would be frequent infections, splenomegaly, hepatomegaly, lymphadenitis, and granuloma. So that would be the chronic granulomatous disease class. So just for you, for easier understanding, kapag may CGD ka, normal lang phagocytosis mo. The problem is you cannot destroy, you cannot destroy the bacteria due to the lack of uh, hydrogen peroxide and the absence of NADPH oxidase. And another one would be your myelo peroxidase deficiency. Now, MPO is decreased or absent in neutrophils and monocyte. Bacterial healing is slowed. Dito, class, sa myelo peroxidase deficiency nyo, um, myelo peroxidase deficiency nyo, class, um, normal ang phagocytosis, normal ang bacterial killing. The problem here is that it takes it takes a longer time. It takes a longer time to kill, to kill the bacteria. To kill the bacteria. Okay. So again, class, ulitin ko. In the defective killing of microorganism, we have your Chedak Higashi. There is the presence of large, coarse, irregular lysosomes causing your susceptibility to infection and hemorrhagic tendencies. There is also abnormal packaging of melanosomes. Patients demonstrate abnormal pigmentation, neuropathies, photophobia. In congenital C3, there are two types. For heterozygous carriers, they have approximately one half of the normal C3 activity. While your homozygous carriers fail to opsonize bacteria resulting in repeated infections. While your CGD class, there is normal phagocytosis and degranulation, but there is abnormal, but there is no bacterial destruction or bacterial killing. While in your um, myeloperoxidase class, there is a slower, it takes a longer time to kill the bacteria due to having your myeloperoxidase decrease. Okay, um, here's an example class of your MPO. So myelo peroxidase class, this is the normal WBC. Ito yung normal WBC nyo. But in your myelo peroxidase deficient WBC, if you would notice, there is no granules. Pag walang granules ang WBC nyo class, you are more prone to infection. More prone to infection. Then here's another example of your MPO deficient eosinophil. So there is decrease bacterial kill, uh, shorter, a uh, longer bacterial killing time. Then let's go to your inherited disorders of the mono monocyte macrophage system so kanina class sa granulocytes now this time we're gonna talk about your monocyte macrophage system first one would be your mucopolysaccharidosis now this would result from the deficiency of specific enzymes involved in the degradation of mucopolysaccharides characterized by the presence of alder riley bodies then all types are autosomal recessive except for your hunter's syndrome. So class, itong nakikita niyo sa table, these are the, these are the seven types, uh, the six types of mucopolysaccharidosis. Now uh, we have your Harler, Hunter, San Filippo, Morqueo, Maratu, Mara Lamy syndrome, and Sly syndrome. Now, um, if I recall, this was taught in your clinical chemistry. Tama ba? Naturo to sa CC nyo, di ba? Class? 
Ah, hindi pa naturo sa inyo. Okay. Well, anyways, just just remember dito, class, ang importante lang dito. All types are autosomal recessive except for your Hunter's syndrome. Yung Hunter's syndrome nyo, class, this is autosomal, autosomal dominant. So, there is abnormal degradation of mucopolysaccharides. Now, another one would be your lipidosis or histiocytosis. So, macrophages are overloaded with lipids due to the lack of enzyme. So, in lipidosis or histiocytosis, there is overloaded lipids in your macrophage. Then we have under lipidosis. This is the most common lipidosis. Macrophages have wrinkled looking cytoplasm with small eccentric nucleus caused by efficiency of beta to cause sedase, resulting in accumulation of glucocerebrosides. As three types, type 1, 2, and 3. So again, last, in your lipidosis or histiocytosis, macrophages are overloaded with lipids due to the lack of enzyme. Under lipidosis class, we have your Gaucher's disease. Gaucher's disease class, your macrophage would have wrinkled looking cytoplasm with small eccentric nucleus. Ang cause, the cause of your Gaucher's disease is the deficiency of beta glucosidase resulting in the accumulation of glucocerebroside. So pag tinanong kayo sa exam nyo or sa board exam, what would cause Gaucher's disease? Do try to look for the accumulation of glucose cerebroside or beta glucosidase. Then your Gaucher disease class has three types, type 1, type 2, and type 3. Now let's discuss them. Now your type 1 class would occur in 94% of the population. It is non-neuronopathic. It would only involve the internal organs and not the central nervous system. So your type 1 would only involve the internal organs as well. Your type 2 occurs in less than 1% of the population of the CA. NS and is typically fatal during infancy. While internal organs, it will progress slowly. As anong tawag niyo sakit na nagpo-progress slowly? Acute or chronic? What do you call I see that will progress slowly? Acute or chronic? Chronic, sir. Okay, chronic. So again, your type 1 class, non-neuropathic, does not involve the CNS. It would only involve the internal organs. So yung internal organs of class would have a high amount of lipids. Yung mga macrophages sa tissues, di ba? Remember, ang macrophages nyo, depending on the type of tissue, they would have different names. Now, in type 1, let's say you have your coffer cells. Yung coffer cells nyo would have increased um, lipids. That, and that would affect the organ, yung, yung liver. And then, yung type 2 nyo naman would only affect the central nervous system. The problem with type 2 class it is very fatal since it would involve the CNS. Fatal during infancy. So, bata pa lang, mga babies pa lang. And then your type 3 would affect both the CNS and internal organs. It would progress slowly. So, again, kapag type 1, siya yung pinakamadami, 94%, affects the internal organs. Yung type 2, pinakaonte, less than 1%, but siya yung pinaka-fatal, because it would affect the CNS only. Tip fatal in, in, in uh, infancy. While your type 3 affects the CNS and the internal organs both. Um, it progresses slowly. So chronic siya class. A chronic type of Gaucher's disease. Yung type 3 niya. So this is the, an example class of individuals, mga bata, na may Gaucher's disease. So due to the high influx of lipids, yung glucocerebrosides hindi ma-process. They would have blot bloated stomach, bloated ano. So if I recall, this would be your type 1. Ito yung type 1 yung class. 
uh, mukha naman siyang normal 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 in appearance. Well, this would be your type 2. And this would be your type 3. So your type 3 since it is chronic progresses slowly, diba? Um they tend to have a normal appearance but habang tumatanda sila normal appearance at first but as they would grow old class tumatanda sila they could become like this yung type 2 nyo bloated yung stomach stunted yung growth and so on okay. then another one is your Neyman pick disease so after your gaucher's disease class we have your Neyman pick disease. Now there is abnormal accumulation of spingo, myelin, and cholesterol in body cells due to the spingo myelinase. So kanina class sa gauchers, sa gauchers nyo, ang increase don ay gluco cerebroside. Well, for your Neyman pick class, there would be accumulation of cholesterol and spingomyelin due to the lack of spingomyelin. So do remember the difference, class, ha? Then this is a type of lipid histocytosis of the phosphatid type. And it would have five variants. Now, um, one of the variants, class, let's take a look at this. Diba sabi ko five variants? So I choose a couple, uh, dalawa ata or tatlo. Now, um, your type A class, yung type A variant yun ng Neyman would have large abdomen within 3 to 6 months, cherry red spot in the eye, feeding difficulties known as your dysphagia, so mahirap pakainin, loss of early motor skills such as your ataxia, and rapid decline in the child after 6 months. So there would be rapid decline of the child in 6 months, after 6 months. Then your type B, there would be abdominal swelling, which would occur in early childhood. No brain and nervous system involvement. Some may develop respiratory infections and breathing problems. Well, your type C naman class would include severe liver disease, breathing difficulties, developmental delay, seizures, poor muscle tone, lack of coordination, problems with feeding, and an inability to move the eyes vertically. So, hindi niya na mumove yung eyes niya class pataas, pababa. Only sideways. Lang. Then, your name and pick disease type C usually appears in childhood. Although infants and adult onsets are possible. People with this disorder can survive into adulthood sa type C. Then another one would be your macrophage overload class. So after yung lipidosis nyo or histocytosis, we have your macrophage overload. Now this is seen in conditions with hyperlipidemia like diabetes mellitus and type 1 glycogen storage disease. Lipid histocytosis of the cholesterol type. So kanina phosphatidyl type. Now this time this would be your cholesterol type also known as your Schaller christian disease. Increase of foam cells, which are macrophage with cholesterol overload. So this is an example class of your macrophage overload. And yung mga foam cells nyo class. These are your foam cells. Macrophage with cholesterol. Then another one would be your sea blue histocytosis. In sea blue histocytosis class, histocytes are present in the bone marrow and the spleen. Large macrophage with blue to green cytoplasm and this is due to enzyme deficiency resulting in lipid accumulation. 
Then we also have your Tay Sachs disease. Cells engorged with under undegraded gangliocyte. Smear show lymphocytes containing vacuoles. So your Tay Sachs disease class are cells engorged with undegraded gangliocyte. Smear shows lymphocytes containing vacuoles. Pinig video okay na. <laughs> Sorry ah. Sorry class. Do bear with me. Bawi na lang ako sa extension nyo ng homework. Okay. This is the appearance class of your sea blue histiocytosis. Then this is your gangliocyte. So in this, it is a genetic metabolic disorder caused by the deficiency of the enzyme exosaminidase that results in the failure to process a lipid called GM2 gangliocyte that accumulates in the brain and other tissues. Now another one, punta naman tayo class this time on your immune leukocytes. So we're talking about here your lymphocytes and your lymphocytes and plasma cells. Now, um, the first one would be your infantile sex link agama globulinemia. This is also known class as your Bruton Bruton Agama, agama globulinemia. Now, in your infantile sex link agama globulinemia, also known as your Bruton, there is decreased antibody in the blood. Males are usually affected, and all classes of immunoglobulin are either absent or extremely low. T e cell is functioning normally, but no B cells which have an abnormal number. Okay, class, um, just to review, just to review, um, tell me which of this, may sasabihin akong characteristic, tell me the type of antibody. Okay, which antibody class could be found in your saliva? IgA, sir. Okay, so IgA. What antibody class is um, able to traverse the, tr the placenta? IgG. Okay, so it's capable of causing of transplacental. Transplacental movement. What type of antibody is produced in the first immune reaction or in acute cases? Okay. So, primary infection. How about for secondary infection? What type of antibody? Okay, IgG. Very good. How about for allergic reactions, class? What type of antibody? IgG. So, IgG. Okay. So basically, class, in your Bruton's agama globulinemia, you have decreased antibody in the blood. Males are usually affected. Kaya siya considered isang infantile sex link. And the sex or the gender affected here are males. So all classes of your immunoglobulin are either absent or extremely low. T cell is functioning normally, but no B cell, but not B cells which have an abnormal number. Okay, let's go to your B cell deficiencies. Now, another one would be your common variable hypogamma globulinemia. So, kanina class, we have your infantile sex link or your Bruton's agama globulinemia. This time, we have your common 
variable hypo gamma gobilinemia also known as your CVID. Now, in your CVID class, there is decreased immunoglobulin due to overactivity of your T lymphocyte cells. Class, what does your T lymphocytes produce? Ano po nila produce nila? If your B cells would produce antibodies, what does your T cells would Cytokines, yes. Cytokines. cytokines. What, is, what are cytokines, class, if you recall? What is the function of your cytokines? So what what does your cytokines do? Anyone? For inflammation, pede. What else? Signal, yes, pede. Okay. So here, class, um, just to simplify this, yung brutons nyo kanina, ang reason kung bakit ma may problem siya, decrease yung immunoglobulins. This time in your CVID, do remember this, decrease ang immunoglobulin due to increase T cells. B cells do not mature into plasma cells. So there is decrease of immunoglobulin due to increased T cells and as well as due to decrease plasma cells. Hindi makapag mature into plasma cells yung B lymphocytes. So here's a table class of the difference between your brutons and your CVID. So ang um, brutons nyo class would often affect, um, would usually happen between 9 to 8 months, so mga bata. Then yung CVID nyo would appear second to fourth dec decade, so 20 to 40 years old. Ito, newborn, 9 to 18 months. So newborn to 1 year old, 1 and a half. Then family history, usually variable, variable din sila pareho. Inheritance class, X-linked recessive yung um, brutons nyo while variable for the CVID. Lymph nodes nyo sa X-link absent. Well, in CVID, enlarge. Tonsils are absent in your brutons while you have normal tonsils in CVID. Then your CD19 or your B-cell numbers are decrease in brutons while normal or low sa CVID. Sa T-cells number nyo, CD3, normal sa X-link or sa brutons, variable naman sa CVID. So kaya nga kanina class, di ba, ang CVID, sabi ko sa inyo, it could have, you would have increase T-cells. But it could be variable based on this. And specific antibody titers absent. The reason for this class is because you have decreased immunoglobulin. So whenever you would perform a titer test, hindi detect yung antibodies. Then your CVID are decreased or absent. Then mutations reported, you have your BTK. So these are genetic, genetic codes that have mutated. So yung BTK, TASI, ECOS, BUFF, R, and CD19. Then common implications, um, pare-pareho lang naman sila class. Infections, allergy, allergy, autoimmunity, and malignancy. Treatment class is via IV, in immunoglobulin. So you're going to be administered with immunoglobulins class, IV, via the IV.
Okay, let's now proceed to your T-cell deficiency. So, kanina, we have your B-cell. Let's now proceed to your T-cell. We have your Nesselhoff's syndrome. In Nesselhoff's syndrome class, there is de defective development of your thymus, resulting in the failure of development of T-cell. Plus, anong relationship ng thymus nyo sa T-cells? Anong relationship ng thymus sa T-cells nyo, class? If naalala nyo. Ito, so, nagmamature. <laughs> Alright. So, siya yung site of maturation. Saan lang site of maturation nyo ng B-cells? Can anyone tell me where is the site of your maturation ng B-cells? Alright, bone marrow. Very good. So, here, class, you have defective thymus. So, basically, in Nesselhoff's, you have damage... Damage yung thymus nyo. And when you have a damaged thymus, there would be a failure to develop T-cells. And your Nesselhoff's is characterized by increased susceptibility to yeast, fungal, and viral infections. And then we also have your DeGorge syndrome. Indistinguishable from Nesselhoff's except that the origin is not detected. Is not genetic, causes intrauterine infections. So, ang Nesselops nyo class is the same as the Gorge. The only difference is that your Nesselops is genetic, while your the Gorge, the George is, um, pwedeng, what they call this, uh, acquired, acquired disorder. So let's take a look at the difference of your Nesselhoff's and the Gorge. So in your the Gorge syndrome class, this is also known as 22Q11.2 22Q11 deletion syndrome. It is a syndrome caused by the deletion of a small segment of chromosome 22. Characterized by hooded eyes, a relative long face, small and low set ears. Grabe yung itsura, no? Imagine mo, hooded eyes. Ano yung mata niya? May, uh, imagine the eye would be this. Then yung skin niya class, um, it would overlap. Parang, parang namamaga. Then, it is characterized by a relatively long face. So, mahaba yung mukha. Then, small, low-set ears. So, maliliit yung tenga. Para siyang... Can you give me a type of, ano, creature na maliit ang tenga, class? Ano ba yung, ano, yung duende ba yun? So, small yung ears. Then, there's also your cleft palate. So, nakakita na kayo ng someone with a cleft palate, class. Oh, di ba may, may hiwa sa ano niya? Tapos parang hirap pa magsalita. So, this is your the gorge syndrome. Then, um, for your, another one for your T-cell deficiency is your severe combined immunodeficiency disorder. So, under that, under your SCID, this is your severe combined immunodeficiency disorder. We have your Swiss type agama globulinemia. So in your Swiss type class, um, you have lost both T and B cell function. So yung mga diniscuss ko earlier, B cell and T cell lang yung specific sa B cell, specific sa T cell. But in your severe combined immune deficiency, specifically your Swiss type agama globulinemia, both T and B cell functions are lost. Small to absence of antibodies. Patient has a thymus but lacks lymphoid element. So, this time class, you would have decreased antibodies, decreased plasma cells. Um, you have a normal thymus. Normal lang thymus mo, but you would have decreased pieces. 
Again, in your Swiss type of gamma globulinemia, you have decreased antibody, decreased plasma cells, normal thymus, but decreased T cells. Then another one would be your Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, failure of T cell response. There is no production of IgM, and there is increased IgA and IgG to compensate. Class, what do you think would happen? Sabi nyo kanina, ang IgM nyo is responsible for primary infection. Now, what would happen to the body if there is no production of IgM? What would happen to the body class if there is no primary defense for a primary infection? Oo, maglalala. Paano maglalala ang infection, Mr. Colong? Prone sa'yo. Paano? Paano? Bakit? I'll give you a clue. Have you heard of the word memory sa serology nyo? Tsaka immunology? What does memory mean in your immunology and serology? What does amnestic mean, Ms. Abaw? <laughs> yung ano sir yung may ability siya na ma-remember good yung previous na ay ba ikaw uh -huh. natamaan ka ng isang virus sir tapos mm -hmm. um pag matamaan ka ulit yung cell mo is uh, ma-recognize ya good kung ano yung dati na naka-infect sa iyo uh -huh. very good so yung yun yung function ng IgM tama misabaw since they are responsible for IgM, they would remember the previous infection. Tama, Ms. Abaw? Yes, but sir. So what happens ngayon if there is no production of IgM? Wala nang mag-remember ng infection, sir, na nag-infect. Na nag And kung walang, kung walang mag-remember, what would happen? Um, ano, sir, ma-infect ka talaga kasi... Um, labanan man ng, ay mag, ano good sa iba? Ay, wait lang sir. You would be, okay, tama na may answer may, very good. So you would be more prone for what we call reinfection. Di ba nga class kaya tayo nagpapababaksine because we want the body to have a memory, a memory on the, on the, on the COVID virus. Now, if there is no IgM class, there would be no memory. Useless yung ma-expose ka sa una. You won't have antibodies and you would be prone for reinfection in the future. Okay? Naintindihan? So that is your Wiscott Aldrich product syndrome. So instead of IgM class, they would produce IgA and IgG to compensate. Then we also have your ataxia telangiectasia. Now, in your ataxia telangiectasia class, there is progressive loss of muscular coordination. Dilated blood vessel, absence of IgA, IgG is normal or increase, IgE is low. Plus, what would happen to a person if there is loss of muscular coordination? Pag nawalan ka ng muscle coordination, what happens, class? Class? What happens if there is Hmm, so kung may problem ka sa CNS, ano mangyari sa katawan mo, Mr. Colong? Di mo ma-control. You have what we call uncontrollable movements. Nakita niyo sa TikTok class yung ano yung or yung movie na yon I forgot the title of the disease yung yung tawag dun sa sakit na yun yung every few seconds parang 
nag-gurgle siya. Ayun, Tourette. Yun, may nigod. Yung Tourette syndrome. Mm -hmm. So that's an example class of your uncontrollable muscle, ano, muscle movement. So sa Tourette class, you would make sounds, you would suddenly move. So sa TikTok, may nakita ako na parang, oh yun, manununtok yan. O oh, parang silang manununtok bigla. Pero they, they couldn't control it eh. Um, meron ako nakita sa TikTok na driver. Grab driver, ah, uh, grab driver siya. He has Tourette syndrome. Uh, uh, they would make weird sound, they would make weird movements. And then... Um, yung yung ride yung ano niya yung uh, pasahero niya didn't know what Tourette is so akala niya inaatake ng kung anong sakit or sinasapian yung ride driver so pinahinto niya pero that's a sad thing kasi kasi kaya kailangan maraming tao ma-educate about certain disorders so they would have better understanding and so that's an example class of your ataxia there's progressive loss of muscle muscular coordination. So at the beginning, you would have control, but as the years go by, you would start losing movement of your body. Then you would have dilated blood vessel, absence of IgA, IgG is normal, or increase when your IgE is low. So this is the example class of your ataxia. So you would have cerebral deterioration, oculocontate continuous telangiectasia, so sa eyes nyo class even affected, immunodeficiency, excuse me, geno genomic instability, acute sensitivity to ionizing radiation, predisposition to malignancy, so you are prone for cancer. Then, um, ionizing radiation class, bawal kang ma-X-ray. So, if you are X-ray class, it could have uh, damage sa skin nyo. Madali kayo may, 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 magkasakit. Then, you're characterized by dilation or the widening of your small vessels and cap capillaries, causing flat red marks to appear on the skin. So, yung mga capillaries nyo class, your capillaries are dilated or widened. And that would lead to flat red marks to appear on the skin. While your Wiscott Aldrich class is an X-linked recessive disorder, so it is caused by mutations in the gene which is located at XP11.23. Um, involves in the cytoskeleton dependent response, so including cell migration and signal transduction. So it is characterized by thrombocytopenia, eczema, recurrent bacterial infections, IgM is low, IgG is normal, IgA and IgE are elevated for your Wiscott. Then let's go now to your abnormal inclusion bodies found in WBCs. So we have your our bodies or our rods. Now they are stained with Romanowski stains appears linear or spindle shape with red purple inclusions so this is your our ads class so para silang mga cylinders inside the cell pinkish cylinders in appearance found in yellow blast and monoblast formed from the aggregates of your primary granules. It would stain positive for Sudan Black B, MPO, chloroacetate esterase, and acid phosphatase, caused by unusual development of lysosomes. So do take note, class, yung our bodies nyo, ang stain na ginagamit are Romanoskis. They would appear linear or spindle shape. So I would characterize them like cylindrical with red to purple inclusions. They are found in yellow blast and monoblast. Stains positive for Sudan Black B, MPO, chloroacetate esterase, and acid phosphatase, caused by the unusual development of lysosomes. Then we have your toxic granules class. Now they would appear dark to blue cytoplasmic granules in metamyelocytes, 
band or neutrophil stage. So these are dark to blue cytoplasmic granules. In metamyelocytes, band, stab, or neutrophil stage. Transient can be found in turk cell. So transient between B cell and your plasma cell. So seen in bacterial infections, frequent in aplastic anemia and myelosclerosis. So when you say transient class, this would be the stage movement from one stage to another. So in this case class, ang TG nyo would be seen um, between B cell, before your B cell, before B cell turns into a plasma cell. And are seen in bacterial infections, frequent in aplastic anemia and myelosclerosis. So these are your dark to blue cytoplasmic granules. Class. Ito yung toxic granules nyo in the picture. Next one would be your dull amato bodies. Now, these are secondary granules that have retained their basophilic property due to lack of maturation or skip maturation. Small, round, or oval bodies with a size of 2 to 3 micrometer in size. Found in the periphery of the cytoplasm of neutrophils, stained blue-gray with Romanowski stains seen in cases of bacterial infections like scarlet fever, burns, cytotoxic agents, and complicated pregnancy. Remnants of RNA and three ribosomes on rough surface in the plasmic reticulism. So these are your dull amato bodies class. Then another one would be your snapper sheet bodies found in the cytoplasm of multiple myeloma and plasma cell aster therapy with amidine drugs. Then we also have Russell or Fox bodies found in morula or grape berry cells. Gamma, gamma globulin bodies in the cytoplasm of plasma cells in inflamed tissue. So, itong morula cells nyo class. Morula or your grape berry these are your gamma globulin bodies in the cytoplasm of plasma cells in inflamed tissues. So ito sila. This is the example class of your snapper sheet. And your Russell or Fox bodies. Then another abnormality class is your hypersegmented neutrophils. So we have your macrofolicytes, also called your polycell, larger than normal neutrophil, has 5 to 10 nuclear lobes seen in pernicious anemia. Then we have your virocyte or atypical lymphocyte, also called downy type cell or third imitation cell. As a chromatin arrangement that gives a mot eaten appearance. So those do remember the virocyte or atypical lymphocyte has a moth eaten tunnel or Swiss cheese appearance. So nakakita na kayo ng Swiss cheese class, di ba? Yung parang ganyan. Tapos ng daming butas. So that would be the appearance class of your virocyte. Vaculated, which gives the cell a foamy or bubbly appearance. Seen in IM Viral hepatitis, viral pneumonia, and herpes simplex virus, HSV. So this is your macro polycytes. 
then this is your atypical lymphocyte. So in your macrophocyte class, if you notice, um, malalaki yung malaki yung cell, uh, large NZ ratio, and then there is also increase lobes. Then in your atypical atypical lymphocytes, there are the presence of vacuolated or vacuous. Then we have also your radar cells. Now these are myeloblasts with nucleus with deep indentions seen in AML. So mukha silang clover lip class in appearance. Clover leaf in appearance. Then we have your LE cells. So yung LE cells nyo are, if you recall, yung lupus erythematous nyo. These are PMN which is engulfed nuclear material of another PMN. So PMN eating another PMN or lymphocyte. Ingested nucleus is purplish, homogeneous, amorphous round mass found centrally. Class, okay pa kayo? <laughs> Nadami na ba? Kaya pa? Class, hello. Okay, pagamay, sir. Okay. <laughs> then your LE cells are ingested nucleus is purplish, homogeneous, amorphous round mass found centrally. Then another one would be your tart cells. So this is a product of nucleophagocytosis. A monocyte with an engulfed nucleus of a lymphocyte. So kanina, sa LE cell nyo, just remember this class, whenever you encounter the LE cells, PMN eats PMN or limpo. Kapag tart cells nyo naman, mono eats limpo. Again, kapag LE, neutro or PMN eats another PMN or limpo. While for your tart cells, monocyte eats limpo cells. Then we also have your basket cell, which is a net-like nucleus from a ruptured PMN. Older form of a smudge cell. Plus itong smudge cell, how would this be caused by a medtech? Paano niya pwedeng i-cause ng medtech yan, yung smudge cell? Niya? Ang smudge cell nyo class would be caused if there is excessive force in making a in making a blood smear. In making a blood smear. Then your smudge cells are damaged lymphocytes. Numerous in CLL can be caused by excessive pressure on the cells during smear preparation. Indicative of increased fragility of cells. So that ends our WBC discussion.